I'm Lisa from BudgetEquestrian.com where I share different ideas with you for you to make the most of the time that you have with your horse. And about a week ago, I uploaded a video of a trip I took to Dover Saddlery to buy something that I've been wanting to try. That's what this video is today. Today I'm going to share with you my review of the Ogilvy Equestrian Baby Pad. So for those of you who don't know, Ogilvy Equestrian makes really nice saddle pads. And that's why I finally got one. I really wanted one because it has a really cool little button. But the Ogilvy pads are a little bit more expensive than say a Dover pad, for example. At Dover Saddlery, the Ogilvy pad was $39.99 and a Dover, ooh, that's dirty. A Dover Saddlery saddle pad is about $20. You can usually find them on sale too for about $14.99. I really wanted to try the Ogilvy pad because it gets so many good reviews. Everyone seems to be using them, and now I know why. These saddle pads are incredible. Now, the baby pad is just what it says, it's a baby pad, and this is the jumper baby pad. So the other one's dressage baby pad might be a little bit different. Um, and they do have different styles too. But I actually got kind of lucky because I didn't really know what I was going to be getting or walking into. So I just went to Dover and I was like, yep, that's the Ogilvy pad, I want it in blue. And there it was, so I got it and it worked out really good. The thing that stands out to me the most with this saddle pad versus any other saddle pads that I own is there's no billet straps. No straps here, no straps down here for your girth. I didn't really think about it and then I put it on my horse and I was amazed. The pad does not move. It has a brushed poly like underside. I don't know if you can see that. Hopefully it's pretty clean. I just washed it today but it keeps the pad in place. This thing will not move. It is so awesome. And it also is antibacterial and antifungal, so you won't have to worry about getting bacteria on your saddle pad or your saddle. And it's also breathable. Ogilvy Equestrian is from Canada. Have a cute little Canadian flag on there, made in Canada. And after I bought this pad, I went to Ogilvy Equestrian's website and you can actually buy pads from them directly. It does cost a little bit more to have it shipped to the US. However, if you wanted to make a custom pad, so you wanted to pick a different color than the ones that you can find locally, like in your tax store, you can get them on Ogilvy Equestrian's website custom color so you can pick the color then you can pick the color of the trim around the edge of the saddle pad and it doesn't cost you any more than buying this pad at a tax store locally which was really neat actually it was to get this one it would have been $37 so I would have saved two dollars and 99 cents if I went to Ogilvy Equestrian originally but it would cost a little bit more for the shipping I haven't decided if I'm going to get the Ogilvy half pad and I'm sure you've seen that they're beautiful too and they've gotten lots of good reviews. Again, that's why I wanted to try this. Yes, it's a little more expensive than the traditional saddle pads that we all seem to have. I have a lot. But since I've used this pad, I haven't used anything else. And another bonus is it's really easy to wash. So it's already dirty. So I've used this pad twice and I washed it today. When you're washing it, you just put it in the washing machine on delicate cycle and put a little bit of soap in there and you wash it in cold water and it rinses in cold water. And then when it's done washing, you just hang it out to dry. So it was a really windy day, which you'll see in a little bit when I put this on Frisbee. But I washed it this morning before I went to work and my husband put it out to dry for me and it's dry and it's ready to go. And it looks beautiful again. It looks like brand new. 
I used it last night on Frisbee and he was really dirty and you could see the dirt marks from him. That's probably the only negative I would say with the black, the dust shows up. So it kind of makes you have to wash it. So maybe it's not such a bad thing. I'm sure you've seen on Instagram and other places, the little Ogilvy button. That's the one thing that sets these pads apart as far as when you're looking at them. Can you see the little Ogilvy button? I hope so. But that's basically just to show everybody that you have an Ogilvy pad. I'm pretty sure once you use this pad, if you do decide to try it out, you will be amazed if you haven't already tried it out. I got to thinking about getting this saddle pad after watching another YouTuber, Black Havoc and Courtney, and I watched her review on it and she had a burgundy pad and I was like, huh, that looks pretty nice. I think I'm gonna try it. And I'm so glad that I did. So thank you so much, Courtney. You sold me on this pad and I'm just grateful because it's a really, really nice saddle pad. So now that you've seen it, the prettiness, I'm going to go put it on Frisbee and hopefully we don't get blown away in the wind. Can you hear the wind? Well, it seems like every time I come out to my tack room, it's windy. But we're going to go put it on Frisbee and show you what it's like. Well, that was the saddle pad. That was me putting it on Frisbee and us being blown around in the wind a little bit. Would you spend $40 on a saddle pad? I'd love to know what you think. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below and tell me what you think about a $40 saddle pad and if you've ever tried an Ogilvy and if you noticed a difference. Thank you so much for watching my video today. I'd love to have you subscribe to my channel. I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and sometimes on Saturdays. And until next time, stay passionate and enjoy your ride.